So we were driving through the Canadian prairies and it was parched. The cows were out in the field, their ponds were completely dry and cracking. The fields that should have been green and providing some food and nourishment were brown. And they looked like the kind of brown that was very brittle. And that if you were in your bare feet and you stepped on it, it would hurt. A dry parched land, just looking at it, you knew it needed some water. You begin to pray for rain. Sometimes our lives are like that parched land where we're just thirsty for something more. Psalm 63, King David says this, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Like this past Sunday, we talked about the transformation that happens in the sanctuary when we're with God. Here again, King David is in the sanctuary and be, he beholds the power and the glory of God. This seems to cause within him the awareness of the parched life that he is living. So much so that everything within him says, man, I need more of God. I thirst for him, earnestly seek him. His whole body longs for him. The more we are in the sanctuary of God with God, praising him, thanking him, listening to him, seeking and wanting to hear his voice, the more we will begin to have a thirst for him. It brings an awareness of the parchedness, spiritually speaking, the dry land of our life. And when we thirst for him and we seek him in his sanctuary, he begins to pour out his spirit, who Jesus referred to as like a well of living water welling up within us. He quenches our thirst. Are you thirsty for him? Will you go into the sanctuary and to be with God? that sanctuary, any place you are with him, where it's just him and you, no phone, nobody else, just you and God, and you interact with him. Find that place, find that sanctuary, and have the thirst of your life quenched. King David, and I'll conclude with this, he says, because your love is better than, than life, my lips will praise you.